Daya Shan, otherwise known as the Wild Goose Mountain, in the northern part of Jiangmen. Now it's a very, very hot day today, so I expect it to be a sweaty one. This is a very well developed little forest park during these special times. Entrance is actually free. Now there's usually like these tour buses that will take you up the mountain, those are not running. And you can even drive your car up the mountain, but of course access is limited because of the virus. On the flip side of that is that entrance, if you want to walk in, is free. The nice lady at the tourist information center showed me all the different ways I can go around here. But to begin with, we're supposed to go up the main road. Very lush green oasis. You can see this little hiking trail, which is a utility access trail. You can tell by the blue sign, but it is closed to the public. This is pretty interesting. They have these thunderstorm shelters along the way because it is thunderstorm season. Let's see what goes up these steps. As you climb the mountain, you come across these wonderful little shady rest areas. You can just relax for a little while. Quite beautiful. Yeah, off the main road, which is quite a climb to begin with. A little outskirts with beautiful little streams. It's just a wonderful place to go for a day hike. There are several peaks. This isn't quite one of them. Some of them is right behind me, the TV antenna. Water level is still a little low. Not quite the wet season yet. Wow, it's so peaceful up here. It's like a little bowl at the top of the mountain. So all the city and everything is on the other side of the ridge, 360 degrees around me. Now I'm back on the road. I'm the only one here, since nobody's allowed up here with their car, and nobody wants to hike to the peak, it seems. <sighs> so I have this whole place to myself right now. It looks like I came across a, another beautiful lake. It looks to be a little zoo area. It's currently not open to the public, though. Still going uphill, still climbing the mountain. Came across these guys. I think this is a tomb. An incredible view from up on this ridge. You can see the TV tower. The city there, that's Northern Jungman. And then down at the very foot of the valley there, you can see my hotel, the Four Points. Truly beautiful. You know, I, I don't mind that there's no cars or buses or shuttles. I mean, it's not a big mountain, but it makes it just more pleasant, more walkable. If this was filled with motorbikes and cars, it would just kind of ruin the serenity of the place. Wow. Now that is impressive. You can see this from the highway from miles around. This is the Epoch Pagoda. And it's a very big one. That river is the river that separates Jiangmen from Foshan. And I'm sure on a clear day you can see all the way to Guangzhou. Now that mountain, just beyond in the distance, that is Xichaoshan which I have been to many times. Actually, really, I, I really enjoy it a lot. This mountain, Dayan Shan, is, they call it Baby Xichao. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller and it doesn't have the giant Guayin on the top. It's still a wonderful place to go for a walk. Nice cool breeze up here on a hot day. Thunder and lightning in the distance, I might be walking back in that. Ah, what a view. The great thing about these parks 
is they're everywhere. I mean, here in the Pearl River Delta, there's these little mountains that kind of dot the cities. You know, it's just a giant urban area, but in between the urban areas are these little tiny mountains that are developed into these forest parks. And there are a ton of them. And I've just scratched the surface on a few, but I can't wait to see all of them. And of course, I've said this before, do you know what the best part about hiking up a mountain is? The best part is running down. Behind me, you see the guys with the white shirts, black pants? They're all selling apartments for the communities that are being built around here. They are everywhere. They bombard you when you go into the park and when you come out. Well, that's it. Wild Goose Mountain, Dayan Shan. Well maintained, no litter anywhere. Well developed, beautiful scenery. Great park, not a big park, but a great one. I did almost the whole thing in about four hours. The temples are closed, so I didn't get a chance to go to any of the temples. It's only a matter of time before the temples do open up again. Had an excellent workout, got some beautiful greenery in me. I am a happy man today. <laughs>